Hello students. So now we are going to discuss about the next important reaction of alkynes and that is ozonolysis of alkynes. Okay, let's start with ozonolysis of alkynes. Once again, what do you mean by ozonolysis? It's the breaking of bonds using ozone. So it's lysis using ozone, which is called as ozonolysis. Now, what's going to happen in ozonolysis? Let's check. First of all, you have a molecule of acetylene, that is carbon to carbon triply bonded compound. Isme, you are adding ozone, O3. Now, what's going to happen? Deko. O3 will add across the triple bond. So, what you would get, O3 will get added across the triple bond, that is C triple bond C, giving you a compound something like this. Asha, yaad karo, jab hum log alkenes ke baare mein baat karre, na, we always said that the addition of ozone or the addition of oxygen will take place in form of a triangle. Yahan pe bhi same hoga, बस एक छोटा सा डिफरेंस ये होगा कि अल्किन्स में जो कार्बन टू कार्बन बॉन्ड था वो पूरी तरीके से टूट जाता था द एंटायर डबल बॉन्ड वाज ब्रोकन फॉर अल्किन्स बट ओवर हियर इन अल्काइंस टू बॉन्ड्स आर ब्रोकन वन बॉन्ड रिमेंस इंटैक्ट सो दैट्स द ओनली डिफरेंस बिटवीन द ओजोनॉइड फॉर्मड बाय एन अल्किन एंड फॉर्मड बाय एन अल्काइन सो प्लीज ध्यान रखना यू माइट गेट अ क्वेश्चन सेइंग Okay, out of the following, which ozonoid is formed by an alkene and which ozonoid is formed by an alkyne? So, dhyan mein kya rakhna hai? That if you have a carbon to carbon single bond still intact, then it is an ozonoid formed by an alkyne. Otherwise, it is an ozonoid formed by an alkene. Acha, ab yaha pe hoga kya? Dekho. Firstly, if you just notice, in the presence of zinc and water, when you heat it, what will happen? तो ऑक्सीजन सिंगल बॉन्ड ऑक्सीजन वुड गेट ब्रोकन होमोलिटिकली एंड कार्बन ऑक्सीजन बॉन्ड विल आल्सो बी गेट ब्रोकन और विल आल्सो विल आल्सो ब्रेक ओवर देयर सो व्हाट यू आर गोइंग टू गेट यू आर गोइंग टू गेट अ कंपाउंड व्हिच इज समथिंग लाइक दिस यू विल हैव एच सी सिंगल बॉन्ड सी एंड एच बस कार्बन के ऊपर यू विल हैव डबल बॉन्ड ओ डबल बॉन्ड ओ एंड सच अ कंपाउंड वेयर इन यू हैव टू सी डबल बॉन्ड ओस अटैच्ड ऑन adjacent carbon atoms such compounds are called as glyoxals so hua kya agar alkene ka ozonolysis karoge to aldehyde ya ketone milega ya mixture of aldehydes and ketones but agar alkynes ka ozonolysis karoge to aapko glyoxals milenge okay ek aur example dekhte hai iska don't worry <coughs> let's suppose you have a molecule of propyne to this you are adding ozone so what will happen now in the presence of solvent o3 will get added across the triple bond so oxygen will get added across the triple bond giving you what acha yahan pe carbon to carbon bond intact rahega please isko yaad rakhna so you will get ch3 c single bond c single bond h and oxygen will be added in form of a triangle so aapko kuch aisa structure mil jayega next oxygen oxygen bond will break carbon oxygen bond will break in the presence of zinc and water and heat obviously so your propyne ozonoid hai it will break to give you a compound something like this you will have ch3c single bond c single bond h lekin both the carbons will have double bond o and this compound would be referred as methyl glyoxal or 2 oxo propanol okay acha one more thing just understand very 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 important thing okay if you do the same reaction instead of zinc and water if you take h2o2 then what will happen sabse pehle h2o2 ko can i write it like this oh single bond oh absolutely yes ab hoga kya dekho oh single bond oh will break to give you two oh molecules even the carbon single bond carbon of the glyoxals will break you will get a compound which will be a carboxylic acid so you will get h c double bond o oh which is formic acid and you would get ch3 c double bond o oh which is acidic acid so hua kya yahan pe further oxidation ho gaya kiska glyoxal ka glyoxal molecule jo tha it got broken down to give you what to give you corresponding carboxylic acid acha dhyan rakhna over here h2o2 is not that strong oxidizing agent कि वो फॉर्मिक एसिड को फर्दर ऑक्सीडाइज करें टू सीओ टू एन एच टू सो द रिएक्शन इफ यू आर गेटिंग फॉर्मिक एसिड विल स्टॉप देन एंड देर इट 
it will not convert into carbon dioxide and water like KMnO4. KMnO4 convert karta tha isko into carbon dioxide and water. Why? Because it was stronger or it was a, uh, you can say a strong oxidizing agent as compared to H2O2. But this time H2O2 itna strong nahi hai. To wo formic acid ko wahi pe chhod dega. Carboxylic acids ko wahi pe chhod ke wo ruk jayega. Thik hai? Let's try one more. Okay. Agar aap hai na ozonolysis karte ho of higher alkynes, then what happens? Then higher alkynes forms diketones which are further oxidized to carboxylic acids. Dekhte kaise? Okay. Let's suppose aapke paas ek alkyne hai R. C triple bond C I dash. Is me vapas apne dal diya ozone. Ozone kya hoga? In the presence of solvent will get added across the triple bond. Hai na? So what you will get? You will get R C single bond C I dash. Oxygen jo add karna will be added in form of a triangle. Okay. Now in the presence of zinc and water when you heat it. Obviously the bond is going to break. Giving you R C double bond O. C double bond O I dash. This process is referred as a reductive cleavage resulting into R C double bond O, C double bond O, R dash. Ab, sir, agar isi compound ko aap treat karte ho further oxidizing agent ke saath, manlo H2O2 once again, what you will get is, you would get R C double bond O OH plus you would get R C double bond O OH or I would say R dash over here. The second acid would be R dash, okay. So, hua kya? in short, you have got two different carboxylic acids. Jaise pehle hua tha, abhi bhi wohi ho hai. Okay? But in this case, you are using an oxidizing agent. In the earlier case, you are using H2O2, a specialized oxidizing agent. Okay? So, over here, what we need to remember, ki agar aapka alkynes jo hai, wo ek bada alkyne hai, to wo khud unstable hoga and it will convert into carboxylic acid. Whereas smaller alkynes, uske liye aapko H2O2 use karna padta hai. Clear with this? So, this was all about the reaction of ozonolysis, my dear students. We'll meet in the next module. Till then, thank you and happy learning.